So that was all the tools and we're going to move on now to applying transitions and effects. So if I want to say add a transition between jet ski and horses so that wasn't so um, blunt or sudden a cut I would go down here into my effects tab and I would drop down video transitions and I'm going to go into dissolve because they're the nicest transitions to use. Um, let's put a cross dissolve on this one. I can see cross dissolve there and to do that you simply click on cross dissolve drag it over into your timeline and drop it where you want it. So you can see if I put it up here in jet ski the tip of jet ski is highlighted and that's where the transition will go. On the other hand if I want it in between two clips that's exactly where I put it and that, that is where I'm going to put it in this case. If I zoom right in you can see I've got cross dissolve there and I can delete it if I want. If I wanted to put a different one on there I can also make it longer, make it shorter pretty much all of the tools you can use. So let's have a look at that one again. We can see how that dissolve has worked on our clip. And there you go. And that looks a little bit jittery because horses is actually slowed down so much that the frame rate can't keep up. Alright. Another nice one is dip to black. I could just drop that one on there instead. So we could put them on the start and end of our movie as well if we wanted. We get a nice fade in for our movie. Okay, so that's how you apply transitions. Here's our effects down here and there's heaps and heaps of them. There's just so many. Um, I'll show you this one really briefly. I'm not going to go through all of them. Here's color correction. If I drop that down we'll get heaps more options within those. Um, I'm just going to pop this fast color corrector onto jet ski. Um, so once we put an effect onto a clip then we go up to effect controls up here and then we can alter the settings for that effect. So you can see by default I have motion, opacity and time remapping. They're always there. But here's the fast color corrector and that's the one I just put on. And if I drop that down you can see all of the different um, settings I can play with for that. All of these um, effects down here, they're going to all look different with the settings. So your best bet is to just simply apply them. Go up here and have a play, see what they do. And if you don't like it, you can simply delete it by just clicking on its name and hitting delete. So you can see by pulling this color wheel around, I can change the hue. Um, of the colors in my footage um, and now it is important to remember that to see these effects changing when you're playing with them up in here you have to have your clip clicked that is selected and you have to have your CTI over it so you can actually see it up here because of course if you can't see it up here up in this area you're not going to know what's changing so they have to be selected with the CTI over it um, and I can change my input levels and my output levels. Um, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff in here. So that's how you apply effects and how you change them. We'll also briefly talk about motion because that's quite important. You noticed um, your default ones up here in the video effect are motion, opacity and time remapping. If I go down um, into motion we can see I can change it to position and scale. Like click on that and move it and we can see my program monitor my, um, my movie sliding back and forth my scale obviously making things bigger or smaller um, and rotation if you want it you can also um, simply click on your program monitor and do it manually okay now if you want to put a title on your clip we just need to go up to title up here, um, hit new title and default still is the pretty much the only one you want to use. Roll you might use for credits at some point but we're not going to go through that. So I'm going to click default still 
you would call it a name. So perhaps I call this Summer Fun because we're jet skiing and horse riding at the beach, apparently. And here we've got our um, title maker com that comes up. So with our title maker, I can use all of these tools on the left to create my title. So I can make a box and I can put text in it. Um, but whatever um, tool we pick here on the left, um, we're going to get uh, options specific to that tool that come up. So I've just drawn a box and if I want to change the fill colour, I can click that little fill colour and change it. Maybe I want to put some text in it. I'm going to just draw a text box over here and call this Summer Fun. You can't see that. That looks like it's red as well. Yep, now I've got fill. Now let's change that to a different colour. Okay, so you use all of these crazy tools to make your title. Um, and then once you're finished with your title, or you simply want to see how it's looking on your video, you just close the box. And now in my um, file bin, I can see I've got a title here called Summer Fun. That's the one I've just made. Um, and from here I can simply drag it down and drop it into my timeline. So I'm going to drop that onto video 2 um, because the way Premiere Pro sees it, whatever is on top, that is whatever is um, on video 3 or video 2 or whatever one the highest one is, that's what's going to get played first. And titles are transparent, so I want it to be on top of my video. And we can see um, up in my program monitor that um, Summer Fun is now on the top of my video. We can also put a transition on that if I wanted it to look the same as my jet ski clip. So now when I play my video, they've both got a cross dissolve on them so they should both fade in at the same rate, which looks a bit better.